must we achieve by 2020 to enable us to be on track to achieve in our vision in 2050? What actions do we have to take as a business community to get us from where we are to actually making progress on some of those key must-haves? Bringing the science into the project and real hard science into the project at this stage is really key to ensuring the success and the credibility of the project going forward. We have developed uh, an expert advisory group of academics globally, uh, including about 70 people. We'd like to make that a transparent and inclusive process. We're at the stage where we've got enough knowledge now, we've got enough um, solid science behind the inputs to this project for us to have confidence that the decisions that we can make around actions will be sound decisions and credible decisions and will be viewed as such in the future. In order to engage with the scientific community, we need to be international, we need to be transparent, and we need to be rigorous. The scientific community will be sending us a message in a bottle, or in fact, perhaps a series of messages in a bottle. They are not deciding on what the must-haves are for business, but what they are doing is giving us a wake-up call based upon the most up-to-date and accessible science that they have. There is a line that can be drawn in the sand where science today can be quite clear about the messages to humanity. Everything that builds your businesses settled in in the Holocene. And the Holocene is the only state we know that can support the modern world. This is based on very profound, robust scientific evidence, and it's a very simple message, but it's also dramatic in terms of the fact that we have equal amount of empirical evidence that we're shooting ourselves out of the stability domain. And this is not models or theory. This is not hypothesis or some kind of testing of different assumptions. This is observations that over the past 50 years, we've accelerated ourselves so far in terms of putting pressure on hardwired, hardwired biophysical interconnected processes at the planetary scale that science is now telling humanity we've entered a new geological epoch. Seven billion people and multiplied by our industrial metabolism equals us being now the largest force of change at the planetary scale. Our current business as usual development paradigm will simply take us to a much too costly future because now we're starting to see Mother Earth sending invoices back into the economy, which would undermine poverty alleviation, undermine our own well-being. So it's simply not a choice anymore. It's simply a question of, are we willing to act? We believe that drawing upon a lot of the science that we have on the table, we can in fact translate the ultimate goal, which is the planetary boundaries, into targets, science-based priorities, already for 2020. The science that we've been leading, together with the broad scientific international community, is starting also to resonate at the broad mainstream policy arenas in the world. If you want to be a little bit ahead of the curve, this thinking that you are pursuing here, taking what I believe is the best vision we have, your vision 2050, into actions 2020, is, is really very, very exciting indeed. I don't want to be one of those people who has to have that conversation with the children in 10, 20 years' time and says, well, we knew about it, but it was really just a bit too hard. It's time for action. <laughs>